Hey guys, nowadays you see holograms everywhere. Movies, social media, whatnot. Today I'm showing you how to create your own super cool 3D hologram inside After Effects. Let's go. First things first, we need some footage. This can be a simple fixed shot, or if you want to go full cinematic mode, add some camera movement for that extra flair. By the way, if you want to follow along, you can download the project files on Patreon down below. Now, first we need to track our camera movement inside After Effects. So with our clip selected, we head over to the tracker panel. And if you don't see it, just go to the window menu on top and enable it. Once that's done, hit track camera and let After Effects do its thing. When it's finished, you'll see tracking points all over the shot. But here's the thing, we only need tracking points on the object that's emitting the hologram. So go through the clip and remove all the unnecessary tracking points. Now hover over the remaining points and look for a spot where the target circle aligns flat on the surface. Right click, choose set ground plane and origin, then right click again and select create solid and camera. The solid isn't really necessary, but it's a great way to check if the tracking worked. And it did. With the tracking done, let's move on to the hologram object itself. You can record footage of something slowly rotating, but thanks to the latest After Effects update, we can now import 3D models directly. So, import your 3D model, drop it into the scene, and turn the layer into a 3D layer. Then position it exactly where you want it to be and animate it so it spins slowly. And there you go, the object is now floating and moving perfectly in sync with your shot. But it still looks like a normal 3D object. Time for the fun part, adding effects. First, before we can add any effect, we need to pre-compose the 3D object. So, select the 3D camera and duplicate it. We're gonna need this later on. Then select one of the cameras and the object layer and pre-compose it. You can do this by right clicking on it and going to pre-compose. Then you want to tweak the colors to give it that classic blue hologram look. Apply a tritone effect and set the midtones to a nice blue color. Next we bring in some glitch effects. Go to animation presets and here look for the bad TV old preset and apply it to your layer. As you can see After Effects automatically adds a bunch of effects like the wave warp, blur, noise and Venetian blinds. Now you can adjust the settings until it looks right. Remove the wave warp effect and lower the fast box blur just a little bit. Now it's time for the scan lines. For this I'm gonna make a white solid layer with the correct name of course. Then draw a thin horizontal mask and feather it. Next separate the position values of the solid layer. You can do this by right clicking on the position property and look for separate dimensions. On the Y position add a wiggle expression so it moves up and down randomly. You can copy my expressions if you want. Now we have one scan line so duplicate it one more time and of course I also pre-compose the layers into a single comp. This is because you need to use the solid layers as a track mat layer. Now duplicate your 3D hologram layer and again don't forget to rename it to avoid chaos in your project. On the top duplicate use the track mat parent tool to parent it to the scanline comp. Then change the blending mode of the new 3D layer to screen and boom your hologram now has moving scan lines, making it look way more legit. Let's level it up with some warping effects. First create an adjustment layer. On this new layer add the turbulent displace effect. Of course tweak the settings of this effect. First set the displacement to horizontal. Then increase Increase the amount a little bit, decrease the size and animate the evolution so it keeps shifting around. You can easily do that with the time expression. Now to add more moving lines like before, duplicate the scan line comp and offset the layer so the scan and glitch lines won't happen simultaneously. Next set the new duplicate as a track mat for the adjustment layer. Now we've got random glitch flickers happening in the hologram, but we're not done yet. To make sure these glitch lines don't affect the whole screen, pre-compose all the hologram layers into one comp. This keeps everything clean and controlled. Now let's add some lightning effects to really sell the look. Let's create some glow on the object. Select your original footage and go to the 3D tracker effect. Now create a solid on the exact position of your emitting object. Of course mask it in the shape of the object emitting the hollow. Feather it a bunch and change the blending mode to screen. Next add a glow effect. I like to use deep glow or optical glow from Maxon but the native glow also works perfectly. Then apply CC light burst to make it feel like it's projecting light into the air. Again, if you have Red Giant from Maxon, you can also use the shine effect. Also add a glow effect on the hologram layer itself, just to make it pop. And if your scene has objects nearby, you can even paint some fake light reflections to match. But it's always best to add real lights while shooting. Now one final touch, we need the bottom of the hologram to fade out so it looks like it's being projected. So create a simple mask on the 3D layer and 
unfeather the bottom part. Then change the blending mode of the hologram to add or screen and instantly it blends better with the scene. And now for the last detail, flickering opacity. Instead of just having it sit there looking static, I use an opacity flashing preset that makes it blink from 0 to 100. But 0 is a bit too much, so I tweak the expression so the lowest it goes is 65%. That way it never fully disappears. But it has that nice flickering effect that holograms always have in movies. If you want to continue leveling up your After Effects skills, click the video right here. Thank you so much for watching.